Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna be a fun video. You might think you might fly away because you know what? Since today is my day off, and it's a beautiful day, it's really windy, so it's not gonna be hot. I'm going to the Tracy Aviary, so come along with my journey and let's go. Up. Oh. I accidentally turned on my 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 uh windshield wipers. Let's go. Okay guys, I made it to the aviary. So I'll get I'll get to you guys when I get into the aviary. Bye. Okay guys, so I'm in the aviary. That's a recommendation. So you're not required to wear a mask. It's a suggestion. And a lot of the exhibits are just one way, so you'll be following the yellow arrows in the exhibits. I'm glad it's not busy because I don't like being in the area with big birds. I meant people, flocks. It's a flock. <laughs> so these are the pelicans. It's like there's always a pelican in there. So these are the American white pelicans. They are from the Great Salt Lake. They will usually eat, um, I'm trying to find them, they're swimming in their group. They would eat um, fish, crayfish, tadpoles, and salamanders. They will live in like shallow wetlands, estuaries, and coastal bays. And when they lay eggs, they usually lay two to three eggs. And it will take at least 23 to 30 days, 28 to 30 days to incubate an egg and then so that means they will hatch in about 28 to 30 days and they the, like hatched once they hatch they will live on their own they will leave in about three or four weeks after they hatch and there's that guy over there here's a pelican closer So these pelicans are actually here because they were um, they are not able to be back go, get into the wild because of them eating garbage and fishing hooks and lines are the major major cause of their injuries. So that's why these guys stay here. Hey, bitty boy. My pretty girl. So these are the Andean condors here at the Tracy Aviary. Yeah, looks pretty pretty. 
Like people think that it's bad that we leave them in cages, but you know what? This is actually a lot of room for just a bird. So that's good. That they actually getting a lot of care every day. And for your guys' information, this guy's name is Andy. He is the Andean condor that was born in 1959 in the San Diego Zoo in California. Okay guys, so I'm here now. These are sandhill cranes. Sandhill cranes are from I have no idea, but These are just uh, sandhill cranes. I'm gonna go in the shade because it's hot. Hi, pretty. You guys are beautiful. And there, it looks like there's a duck back there. <laughs> so I'm just walking, and there's just a couple of peacocks and pea fowl. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to be entering destination Argentina. Or I think you can enter. Yes, I can. Oops. Okay, so I'm in the Argentina exhibit. So it looks like this is a chacal. A chaco chacacalaca. <laughs> it's a very funny name. <laughs> chaco chacalaca. Another one over there. But it's called a Chaco Chacolaca. And that's a saffron fringe. Ooh, and then a red cardinal. And those are the red cardinals. Cardinals. I wonder where that saffron fringe went. Oh, there it is. He's playing games with the guest. Okay, so here is a it's called a red leg seriema. They feed on insects, rodents, snakes, frogs, and birds as well. They usually will eat fruits and seeds and grain. They will only inhabit in open areas such as a like savanna or scrub land habitat. And they are they are mostly found in Africa. Sorry, man, Argentina. Sorry, Argentina. Oh, I didn't see this one. <laughs> All right, so these are the black-headed swans. Oh, I'm sorry, black-necked swans. They will be found on the bottom of South America. They will be found in marshes, lagoons, and lake shores. They will usually just find whatever is in the pond. And it looks like a, uh, a Canadian goose came into this exhibit too. Here's a Chilean flamingos. Oh, fighting. These are the Chilean flamingos. There you are. So 
So here's an interesting fact about flamingos. When flamingos are born, they're actually born gray. But what turns them that color? The thing that that gives them their color is you might see the things that they eat. It's some type of carotene, so like um, they'll eat some type of uh, they'll eat some type of uh, what do you call them? They're, they'll eat some type of shrimp, and that will make them turn into their pink color. So yeah, interesting fact. So this is a northern helmeted curassow, sow. Um, they are found on the very top of South America. And then there's toco toucans up there, if you can see it. Right there. Okay, so there's a couple species in here. There's a couple of species that will be in here that are called Blue Crown Mot Mot. There'll be a crested... Crested or Pendola. Gray fouled wood rail. And a yellow rump cassic. And a white face whistling duck. Will be in this exhibit right here. Just get a better look. So there's the yellow ones, right there, if you can see it. Okay. In this ex exhibit, there will be, there's four different species of birds in here. There's the Edwards pheasant, the Girakaku, Baltimore Oriole, Oriole, and the Red Cap Car Cardinal. They're hard to see in this exhibit. Probably like siding in the shade because it's hot outside right now. Okay, you guys. So this video is way too long to make a full video. If I did a whole video, it would be 35 minutes. So I'm going to make a part two. So see you in the next video.